Them hams on feet probably how you at least. <laughs> well, how do you think I broke my nail? <laughs> <laughs> Twerking by the cakes. So we applied clear press on gel, and I'm using my flashy lamp to freeze it in place so that way she don't go anywhere. Hercules broke my nail. Hercules. Uno de tantos. Uno, no más uno. Uno, uno, uno. I'm a one Hercules woman. A one woman kind of man. One, one man woman. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. And now we're going to bake this for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Go ahead and put your whole hand inside. It's in and it's baking. And then just like, for example, if the nail's grown out, but it still looks really well, and you just want to, you know, spruce it up a little bit, like add diamonds or something, you can take our unicorn bit, which is available right now on the website, and then you can just really gently, with the unicorn bit, go around the cuticle area. I'm using the mini toy nail drill, the new one, of course, and just go and really gently bevel out that cuticle. And this will push back the cuticle and just clean anything out. Any dry skin or anything. And then we're just going to do a coat of um, shiny gel or wonder gel on top just to freshen them up because they're still pretty good until she does her new set. Uh, I would say probably next week, eh? That's true. Oh, that was really Canadian, eh? <laughs> Shout out to everybody up at Eno Couture Canada. Eno Couture Australia and Eno Couture New Zealand. And if you don't live in a country that has an EnoCouture.com distributor, we have worldwide shipping. Well, there you go. Then we're using, of course, our pink dust brush. Beautiful. So this one's almost done. And we're gonna take our gold tip cutters and we're gonna trim the nail. So that way you guys can also see how easy it is to trim the nail. And for the design, I'm going to use our new fabulous Sailor Magic Brush Series. And of course, black painting gel, which I just appear to use. I'm always losing everything, you guys. This is like the number one paint gel in the world. My homegirl Vivian uses it. It is everything. Really? And her bag of chips. It is the most. Well, look at yours, how pigmented it is. You can take it out now. All right. So we're going to trim this little nail. I love how you don't even have to measure. Oh. Well, now I'm going to measure. I have to trim just a little bit more. A smidgen. A smidgen. Word of the day, smidgen. Smidgen. And I'm going to take my 180 grit file and I'm going to taper the sides in. Oh, and y'all is also wearing the gold uh, halo unicorn pigment from the press pigment collection. So you guys will get to see us apply a gold pigment as well. Aren't you guys glad I broke my nail? <laughs> <laughs> and it's really rare for her to break a nail too because these things last forever, but... Well, happens Jewish. to the best of us but oh I'm not gonna ask how she broke it <laughs> some things are better left unsaid yeah. leave it to the imagination leave it to the imagination so make sure she's nice and even because the last thing we want is a wonky nail so now we're gonna take the pink diamond cuticle bit blend in that cuticle well there you go which drill is the one you use to take off the... The, the nail? The, yeah. Uh, probably one of our coarser bits, like the Goldilocks. Okay. Because that one's really let me sharp. See, let me see what I need to take the one. That is the sharpest bit, so that one's really coarse. So that will cut through the gel nail like butter. Okay. That's it. So you guys can see this bit really, really gently. Goes in and cleans everything out. And then we're going to take the unicorn bit and bevel out and really airbrush the nail. Remove the dust so that way you can see what you're doing. That's kind of important, right, Yoli? Yes. <laughs> Get rid of the dust and the cobwebs. And the cobwebs. <laughs> Loving your shirt, Max. Do you like it? I love all your clothes. They can't always... even... I get excited when I come to, to, to see you. I'm like, what is he going to wear today? The viewers can't see it, though. It's a plaited shirt, actually. Believe it or not, I wear plaid sometimes. And, it's of course, it's hair. Gucci. So let's go in with the smoothie buffer. Remove the shine off the entire nail.
What are you wearing on your nails? That looks cool. This is actually the same as you, pink press on gel. Okay. With one coat of A pink and then uh I think I have Wonder Gel or Shiny on top, I can't remember. But I usually like to wear two coats of gel mm -hmm. on top just because of all the running around I do. It protects. And it keeps them just, you know, serves. protects and serves. <laughs> a proud member of the U.S. Marines. It just makes the nail, like, m more durable and more, like, sealed. Well, there you have it. How exciting. Make sure we got a good angle. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Jelly's about to lose control. I'm about to lose control and So now we're going to take the famous shiny gel. There we go. Here comes the shiny. And we're going to cure it for only 10 seconds because we are going to put pigment on the nail. So it's important that you only do 10 seconds, right? Yes, or else the, you will over cure the shiny and the pigment will not stick to the nail. And then you have to kind of like start all over? Yeah. Which is, I think we've done that too in troubleshooting videos. I think that's kind of cool that sometimes we do make mistakes mm -hmm. just so that way we can walk you through them too. I'm just going to tell people we do it on purpose. <laughs> well, 10 seconds. A lot of times those, those errors get you to invent new products. Too. That's true. Or techniques to troubleshoot and improve our skills. So this is our press pigment in the gold unicorn oh, halo. That one looks like eyeshadow. Yes, it does. You can actually use it as eyeshadow because it does cause... Seconds? Yes. And you can see our pigments are a lot less messy because they're pressed. So that will not make a mess anymore, just easier. And I don't have a little sponge applicator here, so I'm going to use my finger. So take your clean finger, rub it into the pigment like this. And then rub it on. Voila. And look at that. You can't beat that. And the mess, there is no mess. We know they say necessity is the mother of invention. Think of all the things you've come up with, all the products, based off of your experience. Necessities. Your hands-on experience. That's true. That makes you stand up above the rest. Because I have been through the gigs with the nails. Yes, it's not like you're just... Some you know, big wig. Tried and true, tried and true. Tried and true. Beautiful. Look at that, boys and girls. So lovely. So now we're going to take black paint and gel. I'm make sure we're in frame because then people are going to be like, I can't see anything. I know. We gotta see. We gotta, we see. gotta see. It's part of the edumacation. Edumacation. So let's get some black painting gel and our play color palette. Load up our Sailor Magic brush, the detail one. And begin our descent into the abyss. And off we go. Off we go. Into Bojangles. I used to know a man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. Really? That's a song. Oh. Remember Mr. Bojangles? Who sang that song? Um, hmm. Someone will tell us. Oh, <laughs> we're not reading comments. <laughs> This is this is pre-recorded. You've never heard Bo Mr. Bojangles? I think maybe. Yeah, he would dance for you. Really? Like a stripper? No, like put out his hat to collect. Oh. <laughs> Not a stripper. <laughs> the only thing he took off was his hat. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't very exciting. Well, he was a good little tap dancer. <laughs> I'm sure. Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles. That's why whenever you, you mention Bojangles, I think of that song. I wonder if the nightclub was named after him. I bet it was. I wouldn't be surprised. Or, or, or if you want to say it in Spanish, say Bojangles in Spanish. Bojangles. 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 <laughs> El Señor Bojangles. <laughs> yeah. No one can put together a tiger print like Max. You know, allegedly, the Tiger King has a daughter in Australia. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's what the rumor says. So, how did she end up in Australia? I don't know. We would have to ask Melanie Crow for that one. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Little question mark over my head as I ponder. Tiger King Australia. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Isn't she snatched? See how quick that was? And then another little dot right there. 
And let's bake this for 30 seconds. 30 seconds it is. 30 seconds on the clock. So what do you have planned for this weekend besides working so hard? Well, we are in the middle of moving. Okay. When so our shipping department is not moving because a lot of people have been asking about that and I don't want to give too much details away about our, right. our transition because I wanted to show it to you guys completely finished. But um, our some of our manufacturing machines are over there now. Um, some of our like dry storage is there now. And our packing team will probably be moving there maybe towards the end of next week okay. or maybe before. And what about Oh, that's moving this week. Okay. So the next time I see you, is it going to be here or over there? Probably over there. How exciting. Actually, I don't know. I know. But we're, we're making this transition, you know, it's we have a, the whole month of August almost to, to move over. Um, so it'll just make it very um, seamless for you, the consumer, and for us as a company too. So that way there's no delay or there's no stop in, in operations, Fantastic. which to me is really important. Oh, actually that overbaked. Oh, sure. <laughs> that was one of the big things for me was, you know, that to make sure that there was no stopping you know couture keep everything going keep everything going so that's what we're doing right now with our move so now we're going to finish with one coat of shiny gel and i always recommend to have two shinies mm -hmm. or two wonder gels one for your glitter and chrome applications and one to finish the nail so that way if you do get a little bit of chrome or glitter inside your shiny gel it will not affect your other nails like your french or your ombres or anything like that that's a good idea good tip beautiful look at that you guys now we can bake it for one minute tip of the day tip of the day tip of the iceberg Oh, you know what I did watch yesterday though that I thought was, it put me to sleep but I thought it was really interesting um, information about Prince Charles he lived in a, recent current information? No, just about like his life. I guess he's had some really interesting things to say and uh, Prince decisions. Prince, uh, princess dying? Well, no, she wasn't technically a real princess. No, but I'm saying he married her. Yeah. And he didn't want her. <laughs> he wanted Camilla Parker. But he needed babies and Camilla couldn't give him any. Oh, really? She can't have children? Well, she has she daughters. Be? She has a kid. <laughs> Yes. So you have to pick a gun. Well, there's a lot of conspiracies turtle, about turtle. Prince Charles and Lady D and Lady Di. Mm -hmm. And but Camilla but Parker. But do you see what I mean? Camilla Parker. I think, couldn't couldn't marry, I think they couldn't marry. I think they couldn't. I think he couldn't marry Camilla Parker because they were. She was married to somebody else. Exactly. So, so they you, can't marry someone else and then still be in the line to be king. And she was allegedly miserable the whole time. Yeah, of course, because she was unloved. And oh unloved. my gosh, did you read the, the transcript of the phone conversation that Prince Charles had with Camilla Parker? <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys have to Google it. It is. Parker. No, it's he re was really graphic with Camilla Parker on the phone. Oh, That's all I'll say. <gasps> Yoli. Oh, sorry. Yes, with her. He was sexting. <laughs> you can take it out now <laughs> with Camilla. I'll tell you later what he said. So after the hand comes out of the lamp, you guys, we'll wait about 10 seconds and then we can apply some cuticle oil. Shoot, that's a movie in the making. Too. That I is. We'll never allow it. The British Royals, I swear. And there you guys have it. A beautiful Tiger King design with gold unicorn chrome you complete me max well i try <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna wrap it up for today you guys i love you stay safe don't forget enalcouture.com the number one nail products in the universe love you guys and they're made in america see you in the next one